Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly tip. And today's tip is on a new update that just happened where you can now officially edit your pages. So any pre-existing pages, you're now able to edit them again. It's in a, a little bit of a different location, so we're going to show you how to find that today. But now instead of having to completely redo a page, if there might be a, a minor error, maybe you want to update something, you can actually go through and just edit it to make it a little bit quicker. All right, so in this case, the first thing we're going to do is sign into command like we are right now. And then we're going to click on the consumer button at the bottom left. Now, remember, you can always click the red KW logo at the top left up here to kind of pop this out if you want to see the actual name of what you're going to be clicking on. All right, so once I click on consumer, now it's going to show all of my agent site pages I currently have. So let's say, for instance, I have a brand new bio. So I want to update my about me page. Well, on the right hand side, I can see when it was created. I can see if it's currently active. This will be kind of that kind of, it looks like an aqua ish color, uh, maybe turquoise, I guess. But then on the far right hand side, we're going to have three dots. Now, once you click on the three dots, previously it just said delete, but now you're going to notice the edit option on here. So now we can actually go through and edit this immediately. All right. So once we click on edit, now our editor is going to pop up on here. So we can actually go through and basically edit everything possible. All right, so here's what I currently have set up for that particular page. I can even click on configure widget so I can go through and update everything even further on here if there's anything that I need to adjust. Now, one thing to note though, whenever I click save and apply, so I'm gonna save everything real quick. There we go, looks good to go. All right, whenever this is officially updated, and we click on publish page. So now we can go through and edit this entire page. We can add in our new information. But once I click on publish page up here at the top right, all right, so I'm gonna click yes on here. So I just did a, a very quick update just to show you how to find it. Obviously, it's gonna take you a little bit more time to edit everything. All right, but once I click yes, now this is all set up. Now, one thing to note though, if you're creating a new page or maybe you made a new update, make sure you go under site and app settings all right, so we're going to click on site and app settings at the top right. And then go under agent site pages. All right, so now we're going to click on agent site pages on the far right hand side too. This is going to show our agent site pages that are currently live and basically what our drop down menu is going to look like. Now, one big thing to note is whenever we click on like our about page, for instance, on here, Here's what it's going to display for the about title, the URL slug, the description, but there are three dots to the right hand side. This is where you can actually select the page that's going to display under the page that you're showing inside this menu. So if you created a brand new about me page, so if I went through and I actually updated and created a brand new about me page, then I can select that proper one. So let's say for instance, this about us was actually the new about me. I could go through and I could select this and click continue to make that live. All right, so any changes that you make, make sure that you go through and you actually update the menu on here too, so that'll save properly. All right, so once you actually update that, then you can click the save button and that'll update your menu immediately. All right, so it's a two-step process. You'll need to go through and edit the page, but then you'll need to add inside that new page that you edited back over here. All right, so if you've changed anything, if you change the title, anything that may have updated, just make sure that is displaying the proper page on here. Since I just edited the page, everything is good to go on here. Didn't change the title, didn't change any updates or anything of that sort. But if you do happen to change anything and it creates a brand new page, always double check on here. All right, that's going to make your life a lot easier. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.